What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome to the latest episode of the FIFA 20 Road to Glory. Uh, well, it's going to be a big one today. we got the first ever squad battle rewards, which could potentially be really good. I mean, I don't want to get too excited and hype them up too much because it is only squad battles and let's face it, the packs aren't anywhere near as good as what we could expect from some Div Rivals or Foot Champions rewards. But nonetheless, it's going to be a first rewards kind of session I suppose of the year um, and I realized that it is actually well it's, it's a day late but uh, I just haven't really been on to basically get them done and I, it doesn't really bother me too much because today is actually uh, not official FIFA launch day but it is for the three day early access as my controller nearly dies on me um, but later today, I will have my hands on the hard copy of the game. I'm literally just waiting for it to arrive in the post. So I'm still just using my final little drags of uh, of my EA Access, which I've, I've managed to save quite well. Um, I've managed to make it last the whole way. But uh, as you can see, guys, I just want to quickly show you my team first. Obviously, it's the first owner, Road to Glory. So this is only pack pool players. I haven't been able to buy anybody off the market. And I've just been kind of working off like some of the SBCs at the moment. Obviously, it's going to be the first set of rewards, so hopefully we can get something good to add to this. Um, but currently, we've got Guaita in goal. Holgate, Bolly is like the only rare in the team. Uh, Cabasele, Leighton Baines, Saisa in midfield. And we've got, uh, we've got Lewis Cook, uh, Cleverly, Lalana, Gale and Carroll. Now, I know this is obviously literally only played squad battles, but Dwight Gale's done okay for me. Like 16 games, 13 goals, and 23 assists. He's probably been my favourite player, maybe alongside Lalana. Those two have been pretty good. Um, Carroll's kind of like you get what you expect. We've got Adrian in goal. Uh, well, sorry, as a goalkeeper sub. I used him a couple of times. Uh, Michael Keno used a bit at the start. We've got Steve Kirk, Drinkwater. A couple of Bundesliga players there that I've had uh, put in for the objective, part of the, the Oktoberfest thing. Um, and then. A few other players which I was using until I put his Bundesliga guys in, like Cork, MacArthur, Barnes. Um, but yeah, the rest of the stuff in the club isn't really going to be good enough to make the team um, from that league. But I, I will quickly show you some of the other players I've got. Just a little quick tour. So I did get uh, Info Koscielny as an untradeable player in... I can't actually remember what pack it was, to be fair. It, 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 was, from, it was from an objective. I can't remember now. It was a couple of days ago that I got it. Um, I've got to say I was a little bit disappointed that it was untradeable to be honest, it's going to be an SBC player. we got Rafinha, Mkhitaryan, a couple of like 81 rated, and then we got a few 80s there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, nothing to really kind of scream and shout about, hence why. Not really done like a big video before. Um, because there's not really been a lot to do really, it's, it's just been very, it's been like bits and pieces, your SBC here and there. I'll show you guys what SBCs I have done, because I want to kind of keep you up to date. Obviously now that... Uh, the game will be in my hands pretty soon. I will be able to focus a little bit more on specific content. So I haven't done Pookie yet, but I will do that. Um, marking matchups I'm yet to do, but I'm going to have to buy the players that I think. I'm yet to do like, the hybrid leagues, hybrid nations, all that sort of stuff. So I'll do videos for that. Uh, League of Nations hybrid. And then it's just kind of the upgrades really. So you can see I've done Let's Get Started, Let's Keep Going, Let's Move Forward. I did the League of Nations basics because they're really easy. Um, but yeah, that's literally it really, guys. And played a few games. Which has got me into a particular squad battles rank. I think it's gold one. I, I'd like to think I ended up in gold one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I probably could have pushed for elites with the amount of games I played, but I, I was playing on professional difficulty for a lot of it because I just my, I found it so difficult with my team. But I did end up playing one game of world class, and I won three 0 and I, I sort of thought, you know what, I probably could have played a few more. Um, but I just never really kind of had the bottle to step up the difficulty, so that was kind of my bad. But. Uh, yeah, we live and learn for the for the next set of rewards. So for this one, we get one premium gold players pack, one prime mixed players pack, and one jumbo premium gold pack plus 11k. That 11k is going to be pretty big for us, to be fair. Um, although we don't seem to have received it, unless that's going to come in maybe when we go off of here. I'm not sure where's our where's our 11k. That worries me. Okay, hopefully there we go. Right, it's, it's coming up. So it's 14k which is massive, the highest I've ever actually been on this particular account. Uh, so we'll start off with a 15k pack. It's not really like a massive kind of pack session, but hopefully we can get something decent. So it's a good start, we've got a rare flare. Um, it's not going to be a walkout. I don't think it's going to be a ball either. Nope. So, Voland. Okay, that's not bad. Not a bad player at all. It's our first owner. He could certainly uh, get into the team, for sure. 
fact, that's a very good player for the for the objectives, actually, for the Oktoberfest objectives. We've got Davis there. He's probably not really going to be good enough to get into my team, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, Andre, Andre, a couple of players I don't know. Anything else in there? We've got Clement, who is going to be a duplicate, so we'll sell him. Um, but not, not the most amazing pack in the world, to be honest. I've got to say. So we'll throw all that in the club. Um, and then we'll move on to, what is this one? It's nothing but players to build out your older squads. It includes 12 players, 4 gold, 4 silver, 4 bronze with 6 rares. Okay, so we'll, we'll do the prime mixed players pack first actually. I, I feel like the, the other one might be a little bit better. So I don't know what the difference is when it has like a black door on it. Um, I don't know if that's just because it's a special pack. Like obviously the pack designs are different. Oh, Olivier Giroud. Okay. Okay, SBC player, I suppose. I think probably throw him into the Pookie SBC, actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Mangala, Turan, and Ellis. So this is what I was saying. This is probably not as good, because look, we literally got one rare gold. Three of them were bronze, and two were silver. Which is a bit disappointing. Um, but nonetheless, more players for the club, so we will take that. And we're going to end with a premium gold players pack, guys. Hopefully we can get something that's going to be worth selling. But let's not get our hopes up, eh? Um, no, not a walkout. It's not a board either. It's Savage, which, yeah, that's not too bad. That isn't too bad at all, really. He could do a bit more pace, but we'll take that. You know, we, you've seen my club. We don't really have a lot of 82 rate players, so we'll certainly take that. Um, anybody that's going to get into my team here, there's actually no Premier League players there, which is disgraceful. Subasic, Perrin, Skoko. I don't really know who a lot of these players are. I don't know who that is. I've seen him before. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I know him because he's played for Sunderland. I know him. Know him. Know him. I don't know him. And I don't know him. Wow. That is an interesting pack. That's what we're going to go straight into the club. But yeah, that is it for this particular video, guys. Nothing too spectacular, unfortunately. Um, it could have been a really, really good way to kick off uh, FIFA launch day, but it wasn't to be. But we'll have Div Rival Rewards on Thursday, and we'll have another set of Squad Battle Rewards on... Well, I'll probably do them on Monday, to be fair. I wouldn't be staying up to 1 o'clock on the Sunday to get them done, um, because it just, it's just not a good move. Just end up so tired the next day. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, guys, feel free to leave a like. Comment to let me know what you guys got in your squad battle rewards from what rank you finished as well. I'd be interested if there's anybody that got some big pulls from say like gold three or even like silver or something. Um, and then if there's people who went all the way up to like elite three, elite two that just didn't really do too well. Because that, that seems to be how it goes to be honest. Like I know people that did really well out of gold one um, and clearly we didn't do too great out of gold one there but it's just how it goes, just pack like. Um, but yeah, and then if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you want to do so, that would be much appreciated. But that is it from me, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you later.